the Eagle War. The Eagle War has sparked yet again, and I think it's time we had a chat, boys, about the devastating consequences for all of mankind. War. War never changes. <laughs> Except for now, when it does change. <laughs> yeah. So I'll start this story with a history, <laughs> shall we, of okay. the Eagles. So you may remember Belle Delphine. I think yeah. she's probably the biggest catholic for a lot of women noticing there's a lot of money in this. And we're not talking about OnlyFans and whatnot. It's a whole other subgenre. Yeah. We're talking about being cutesy on the internet. Yes. Uh, you know, Pre-porn star phase for her. Yeah. And, and selling things that your body has come into contact with for exorbitant prices. Well, not necessarily, but that is what she did. In she particular. sold bath water. As you can see, who is paying $30 for the Gamer Girl bath water, writes The Guardian, which, you know, was a thing. I did. I that is a good out. question, actually. Who is buying that? I don't know, but to be honest see. with you, I kind of respect the hustle. Well, that's I respect. <laughs> don't more. encourage. Them. I'm not trying to, but like, I actually don't mind Belle Delphine. She seems to have a sense of humor, and like, this is funny. Well, I respect even more the Daily Mail's position on this story at the time, which is they don't write it here because they changed the headline. But you can see up there that British gamer girl influencer <laughs> <laughs> sells her bathwater for twenty four pounds. She is the one fighting the credit crunch oh. boys. She's <laughs> finally the spirit of empire returns. <laughs> I don't know they put it as they translate it to pounds, they're like 24 pounds a pot. <laughs> like they're selling it to their grandparents or something. Hi folks, we've rolled out a new feature on the website, which is the ability to pay for an individual piece of content. So usually it's five pound a month every month to subscribe to all of the content on the website. But I appreciate there are going to be people who simply don't want to do that. They, they would be interested instead in purchasing a single piece of content for a lower amount and they've got a particular a particular niche that they're interested in watching. And so they don't want every single piece of content, they just want this one thing. So we've introduced this function where you can just simply purchase the one thing for £1.89, which I think is about $2.30 at the current exchange rates. Uh, and then that's just yours forever. So there's no sort of commitment there. There's no uh, rolling subscription. It's just that one thing. So that's an option now that's on the website. It's completely live. It's completely available. And uh, please go and enjoy it. And we'll see you all very soon. Uh, anyway. And um, well, what happened? You may remember, of course, YouTubers flooded to, to yeah, give it I a taste. That. You can see there, Pyrocynical, who um, gave it a lick. Which, um, okay, I hope idea. the views were worth it. Yeah, there's also uh, this dude who decided to um, oh, veto. vape it. Okay, he yeah. vaped the bathwater. I don't think, I think he wasn't that keen on it. But either way, <laughs> that as a thing, to be honest, as yeah. a cultural effect, yeah, not terrible. Yeah, it's funny. It's a laugh. Everyone, it's, it's, it's harmless, you know. Yeah, I kind of like the whole cutesy aesthetic as well as a cultural a cult a cultural backlash towards the destruction of female aesthetics. Yeah, at least the attempt of it. Yeah, at least just trying to make yourself look pretty, you know. I, I kind of like the the whole um, aspect of women being like, "Hey, you know what gets the boys at being feminine?" <laughs> so yeah, that does that does work. Attractive women win men over. So I just um, you know, it's kind you're of you're simping. If nothing else. No, I'm just saying women should wear feminine clothes. That's better than the alternative. That's what I think you're saying. That's one thing. What's okay. That? I mean, there's a male version, obviously, which is the Liver King, which I don't know what the hell he's doing. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen this. This is him eating raw chicken and milk. He looks like he's about to explode. Yeah. <laughs> no, he unironically That's looks like he's about to explode. <laughs> such a horrible video. <laughs> I, mean, I don't think the Liver King ever appealed to women. I think it's no. just a... <laughs> Why did he appeal to men? <laughs> I don't know, but I do... I do enjoy watching whatever this is. So he's 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 living his life. But yeah. it's not a male version, is, is what we're getting out there. He's eating raw chicken. Yeah, he's eating raw chicken in this one, which don't do. No wonder he looks so ill. Don't eat raw chicken. YouTube, please don't delete this video for breaking terms of service. But yeah, no, not recommended. Yeah. Uh, but that's one thing, right? The the ego genre of um, I'm gonna be cutesy and that gets male attention and maybe you could monetize it in some weird way, whatever, right? Yeah. Uh, not for the Liver King. Can we can we get off this video? <laughs> Can we get off screen, please? But then you get like the entitled bitches. Oh, and I remember this one. You may remember this lady. We're going to play a little bit of it because just to remind everyone. Maybe $10. And it doesn't matter how broke you are. If you have time to watch Twitch, you have, you have $10, truly. If you don't have $10, you probably don't have time to watch Twitch because you should be working. You should be trying to earn money. Uh, it's not a ton. It's not like a ton of money. So being like, I'm broke, I can't afford to sub, it, that doesn't really track. What you mean to say is, 
I'm so irresponsible with my money. I can't support the entertainment that I enjoy. I think she's making a good point. You should go sign up to our website. Yeah, of course you'd say that. <laughs> well, I, th I think there's a difference between signing up to the website, which provides, you know, good videos and uh, pay me $5 for the benefit of watching me sit here. If, if you're watching my Twitch stream and you've not subbed, you should be out working to get that $10 to sign up to my Twitch stream. Simple as. You're only entitled to do this on your Twitch stream, Carl. <laughs> if you wear the outfit. You've got to wear... <laughs> I could wear the outfit. You've got to wear the, the knee socks. When I'm playing Rome? I'm not going to hold you to that. You no. I, I swear, if, this, <laughs> if this worked on anyone, that person has a humiliation king. Yeah, what, is, what is going on? Just don't, don't, don't. But this, this blew up a while back. You may remember there was a, quite a, uh, a streak of random whores who were completely incapable of production. They couldn't make videos, never mind anything else. And, and they sit there and they leech off the gender role of provide. And this men. woman couldn't even afford yeah. a hot tub by the looks of it. No, it, Shameful. Behavior. She could probably afford a hot tub now. This was like in 2020, wasn't it? But it's not, she's not the only one. Three have, years later. I don't have a later, timeline. Well, look, I can see it. Like, so three years later, then, oh, yeah. you know, she, she's probably made enough money. She's probably in the hot tub. I mean, has anyone checked back on her? Well, let us know in the comments. Um, has <laughs> this random whore become a millionaire? Um, well, check in on she another. Has. That's the thing. Check in on another individual, because you may remember at the time, Pokimane. And this is oh, a, yeah. a Twitch streamer. She decided to uh, Gund come out. Gundam's future ex-wife. Yeah. Responded to this video with, with quite a nice statement, to be honest, which is if $5 isn't a relevant amount of money, then she shouldn't need the $5. Oh, if, that's great. Yeah. Good point. If she argues it adds up to, uh, with multiple people giving $5, though, then she should realize that it works the same way when it comes to spending. That's very, very forward thinking. Yeah, get these essay takes off my timeline and my streaming platform, she writes here. And, and she got a lot of likes for this. People were like, mm. finally, a, a nice... An e-girl who gives a reasonable opinion. Yeah, a nice, nice e-girl who doesn't pretend that money doesn't matter. For how long? Well, you know, it's About a miracle. three years. Can we appreciate the miracle here? Of, no. Of her, uh, this was a temporary miracle. I like, I like that she's basically flanking all of the other e-girls from the right here. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and, I mean, she's worth 25 million, I found out. Oh, is she? So to see someone in 2020, you know, be able to understand that money costs things and it's not worthless. I mean, this is a, a problem with, with women in general when it comes to that female role, where, especially when it's toxic femininity, it's exploited that you need to give me money because you're a man. And to be a man, you need to provide. Therefore, give me money, please. Like, that's not. That's not good. That's toxic I mean, femininity. It, yeah, yeah. It's understandable if you're in a relationship and, you know, she's a housewife. Fine. If she's some random ego who doesn't know who you are, don't, don't give them money. But anyway, nice. I, you know, a bit of a miracle. They're not your girlfriend. Miracle of an ego over here. Yeah. Appreciating $5 is money, and uh, it's, it's, it's good to be wise. Um, she's now selling snacks. So this okay. is... Okay. Hang on. That's fine. Selling a product is fine. Could There's be. Nothing wrong, nothing wrong with that. Could be, yeah. If you've like got, the, if you've got the a good bath product. bath water, it's a product. Yeah, I don't want it, but like, okay, if Vito needs to buy it. <laughs> so this is the, the, the drama, because the, the bit of drama alert now. I'm, I'm terribly sorry, but I must bring it to you. Oh, go on. So this is her website where she's uh, released some cookies and she's hanging out with the cookies and, you know, how much money she spent on this website, God knows. Ah, uh, cookies but, have vitamin D in them, do they? Yes, they have vitamin D cookies. Look how good they are. Look at them. Isn't that desirable? They look like crap. They do look terrible, but to be fair, it's coming to winter. We probably do need vitamin D. But you can see here as well the price. You get that with a multivitamin, though. Yeah, I do. You could just uh, same. Michael makes me. Also, those those do look like deformed Oreos. Yeah, they're disgusting. You could just not live in England as well. There are a lot of people who live with sunshine. I don't want to do remind that. us. Yeah, I don't want to do that. <laughs> All right. Anyway, but there's plenty of sunshine during the sunshiny months. Yeah. Or one of them. So this lady. God's appropriate allotment of sunshine to the English. Thank you. She's selling her cookies. They're seven dollars a bag. It's not. Yeah. Not a great idea in my mind. They look a bit like crap. I've seen the reviews. Most people describe them as Oreos without the filling. Okay. So that's a, it's by Oreos, yeah. 60p a pack or whatever. I do want to mention as well, just in here real quick, the Snack Lab feature, because oh. I just can't get over it. So you randomize and you get your own snacks. And I just can't get over how, of course, do because it's American. Do they make to order? Or are they... No, no. It's just a good fun thing. Oh, is it? Wait, is that cheese? <laughs> yeah, that's the thing I want to show you, because of course they're Americans. Cheese on what? Your biscuits. You want cheese on your cookie design? Why wouldn't you? I mean, you can add the cheese to, to anything. It's just. Start. I mean, that you you didn't add the cheese. Then let's. I'm there. We go. I'm no longer taking that, criticism. That's gone super British saying. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, what? I can't. We had herbs. There we are. Doesn't that sound herbs. good? 
Sea salt, herbs, sprinkles, cheese. What if you no, cacao that mix? Repulsive. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> yeah, you, you can't have chocolate, chocolate and cheese. That would be gross. Whereas we have chocolate chips and cheese, which is yeah, whatever. It's just just a side. When note. you submit your snack, where does it go? It, it's just a fun thing for you showing off on the internet. So if I okay. want if I want cheese and frosting, that's not no, allowed. I thought I this would... was America, God. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> and and okay, freedom. you know, Pokemon amongst yeah. The I mean, influence. again, again, I'm not actually very critical of this. Okay, it's advertising. No, you? Fine, you're pr- you're selling a product. Fine, there's nothing wrong with that at all. You spent a billion dollars on a website to sell. Bad cookies. <laughs> so was was she like embellishing money with this embezzling? embezzling I should money. say. Well, the the drama came about because people discovered something, which is um, these aren't real cookies at all. Well, no, the, the, it's not a copyrighted thing. These these midnight cookies over here. It's sort okay. of like chocolate chip. It's it's a style of cookie. Right, right, right. So people discovered there was this uh, version that's being sold for like a buck, and then there's hers, the same packet. They seem to be exactly the same. Wait, probably done by the same company. Wait a second. Same number of calories, uh, same number of cookies, uh, the same number of fats, the same number of saturated fats, same number of cholesterol, same number of sodium. Same number of added sugars. Yeah. Protein. Right, so it's exactly the same cookie. Well, if you play spot the difference for long enough, and people did, yeah. they found that there is vitamin D in her cookies and not in the store-bought ones right. mm. because of a one-ingredient difference. Also, also, they seemed to have different amounts of servings, but that might have been a typo. Yeah. Here's uh, the ingredient list as well, which is, Exactly the same, except right at the end, it's cut off, unfortunately, on this image, where they say they added mushroom powder to her ones. Right. Uh, they right. added mu- magic mushrooms to ours. No, it's That's literally... They get the vitamin that D. would be the selling point. But, <laughs> but for that slight increase in vitamin D, you pay seven times the price. Yeah, yeah, sure. But like these are probably made in the same factory by the same company and just rebranded under her name. Like, don't, don't, Almost certainly. Don't, don't buy like you know the, the branded versions of like antihistamines or anything. Because they're made in literally the same pa- factory and just put in different boxes. Yeah, I and mean, it's a, it's a pretty standard tale of, yeah. of influencer creates product. Yeah. Most of the price is actually the branding, not the yeah. product you're, itself. You're paying for the luxury and the the Dr. Dre beats. Yeah, you know, we could see here, and there are endless amounts of I, celebrities who sell branded things. I tried some of that Prime the other day. Have you you've heard of this, right? I've, Logan Paul's Prime. My son got Was it some. while you're watching I'm a Celebrity with no. me maxing? No, my, my wife took my kids to the shops and they came back and my son's like, oh, I've got Prime. It's like, <laughs> okay, I'll try some. It was disgusting, actually. It, things, it, was, it was too sweet, but it also wasn't sugar. And so it had this kind of hollow, cyberpunk, dystopian taste to it. I don't know how else to describe it. Like, like, it, like literally, like this is synthesized and has been provided to you. So you don't get to eat a real thing anymore. It's, it was gross. This isn't a man's energy drink. It's not even a man's energy. It's just it, this isn't real. I do like the it's idea like of a, a hologram. You know, <laughs> I do want to see some normie maxing. If anyone can, just just tag us some video comments. I don't. I'd like to do a competition for who can normie max the most. I don't know what we can give away, but we'll find some crap in the office and <laughs> send it out. <laughs> in last year's DVD collection of I'm a Celebrity, I assume. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll do a uh, XFM. Got that, just just send some stuff. We've got. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get you. Well, if you, if you win, we'll give you a trip to Love Island. There we go. But anyway, point being, you know, kind of boring. Just you know, some cookies were sold, and yeah. they were stupid, and, and they were expensive. Should have ended. I mean, uh, one of the products that this reminds me of in Britain is uh, Zoella. You remember Zoella? She's a beauty person on YouTube, massive, and she decided to release an advent calendar. You can see on the left here for fifty British pounds, yep. and it contains things like a pen, okay, for the twelve days of Christmas. Horrifically expensive for the product. It is just not worth it. And there's a Poundland version here with better products for much less. That's okay. thirteen pounds. That's false advertising. What do you mean? Poundland. It, it, Things cost one pound. Have you not been to a Poundland recently? No. Nothing costs a bloody pound anymore. Okay, I don't <laughs> it's know. it's something that's rounded to a pound. I try not to go into shops. Uh, good luck. Also, there there are there are thirteen products there, Carl. So. This is. Uh, I, there we I go. don't, I don't know when you finished school. Uh, right, but right. One oh, I didn't count the number of products. 13. He said 12 days of Christmas, so I assume oh, that would just be 12. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There are 10, 11, 12. Oh, there are 13. There we are. Mm. I can count two. Anyway, <laughs> back to the story. <laughs> back to the story. Anyway, point being, Zoella made a crappy product. She's got a lot of backlash. There were a lot of people saying, look, you literally exploited your audience of teenage girls to beg yeah. their mums into buying your piece of crap. And yeah, nothing new. Bad. <laughs> yeah, typical, <laughs> typical festive tradition. But the, the thing that, bro- that came out of this that was sad is the Pokemon did this. She responded to the criticism of um, your product's crap with literally the e-girl response. When people 
I'm like, oh my god, twenty eight dollars for cookies? It's four bags. That's seven seven dollars a bag. I know, I know, math is hard when you're an idiot, but uh, like, if you're a broke boy, just say so. Anyways. Yeah, damn right, I'm a broke boy. Have you seen this bloody economy? Who's spending seven like, have bucks? Have you looked on... at inflation and petrol prices, the house prices? Also, yeah, also if you. Broke. If, if if you only sell them in packs of four packs at seven dollars each, yeah. then there's no way of me buying an individual one for so. And it is twenty eight dollars. But I just want to say that seven dollars, which is like six quid for a pack of biscuits, but for a pack of that's really expensive. Oreos missing the cream. Yeah, just any biscuits. I mean, Jesus, for rubbish, rubbish it. Oreos with extra yeah. mushroom. That, the, yeah, that's that is expensive, and I am broke. Yeah, so, uh, you know, Keemstar here posting talk about out of touch millionaire, which is correct. Um, yeah. She in three years became the meme, and the defense of her position has been you hate women from uh, normie world of, of streamer people. Yeah. There we are. The immense hatred towards women on the internet is unhinged. Yes, thank you for that input, Nadia. Yeah, thank thank you very much. Um, and then a lot of people noticed. Yeah, she became the if you're a broke boy, just give us the five bucks. It's only five bucks, and that's what she became. Which sparked, it's not only five bucks, it's 28 bucks. <laughs> which sparked a bit of like an e-girl fight between who is the worst e-girl. And as you can see, people right. commenting their worst e-girls. And this is the, uh, the fight club that has taken out. But it's, it's a lovely story, I think, about toxic femininity. And that's kind of interesting. The fact mm -hmm. that if you have toxic femininity, you have no appreciation for the work it takes to actually make money. And a hatred of men who have that appreciation and angry when you don't just get things for free. Uh, but the real story for me the real e-girl race is the YouTuber e-girls. Do you know who they are? No. The typical suspects? No, the ones no. who really should just put pretty, pretty little bows in their hair at this point because that's all they're worth? Jim Sterling? Uh, not quite, no. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not watch that video. <laughs> Let's leave his pregnancy out of this one. <laughs> I, do, I just want to say congratulations, Jim. <laughs> Yeah. Also, As Yat a father, I'm so proud of you. Also, Yahtzee, if there is a gun to your head right now, it's linked <laughs> yeah. twice. Yeah. I'm very sorry for what's happened to that channel. But getting back to the uh, YouTuber e-girls, it's the reaction channels. Oh. And we don't mean kids react to or a guy who sits there staring. Watch any of these. It's, of course, the multi-million subscriber reaction channels. The true ones. Really? So as you can see here, Moist Critical got a bit of shtick because he did a 10-minute reaction to the situation. And this person being upset. Got Why would you call yourself videos. Moist Anything? Well, it's just a fun name back in the day. I like I like Moist Critical. I think I've it's never, I've no idea who he is. It's moist is not one of those words. Well, he would just do like little reactions to events, and it's like, okay, cool. I think this criticism is actually pretty dumb. Ten minutes reaction to this thing? I don't care. Maybe I want to know about it. That's okay, fine. Yeah. That's not that bad. Yeah, no, no, I'm not. not. He can get away with a couple of uh, you know those little clips that girls put in their hair. He doesn't need the full bow outfit yet. But there are some people who did take the piss, such as well Ethan Klein. Fifty fucking minutes. Talking about the fucking cookie controversy. Yeah, but he's got like five advertisers he needs to fit into those 50 minutes. You can't do a 10 minute video and get five advertisers in it. I suppose so. The views are also just crap. I mean, you can see here, this is someone clipping it after three yeah. hours. He's got, what, 5,000 views on his channel there, of several millions. Yeah, he's got like three million subscribers. Yeah, this is his highlights channel, to be fair. But even then, it's pathetic. I checked it before we started. He's now 20,000 views. Oh, wow. On a 50 minute video. Just not worth it. Just, I find this content cancer. I mean, you guys really are the e-girls of, of the YouTube world. When you sit around for a friggin' hour talking about the cookies, it's, it's, not, it's not fun. Like, it, it, are we doing? Uh, yeah, I was about to say, <laughs> are we talking about the cookies now? No, I was talking about the e-girl phenomenon, how I think there are some positives to it, yeah. and then there is some stupid drama about it. But then the YouTube world is really my obsession of like, what are you doing with your lives, bros? And it's not just Ethan. Ethan. To be fair, though, Ethan's been in a pretty bad place recently. He has, but he is not getting to be more outdone. sympathetic towards. In fact, I, I, a leftist trying to wrap his head around economics, I can understand it taking him an hour. Yeah, how has she got a profitable business, <laughs> bro? The fifty minutes is quite short, it turns out, because of course the champion, the Hamas lover of the world, Ethan. Oh. Sorry, no, Ethan's friend. Hassan. Yeah, oh yeah, he's the, Ethan's friend. That's a prom one minute ten. Bit of an anachronistic term we're going to use for Mr. Pike. <laughs> Reacting to Pokimane's situation is horrible. Just look at the Just, state of him as well. This is more the story for me because it's like, okay, you know, bad product from influencer. Have you, have you seen female YouTube? The whole thing is cancer. Just look at, is that really the, the picture of Hassan you're going to use for the thumbnail? Apparently for his own team. He looks like he's about to fall asleep watching yeah. his own video. 
But I do love as well because all of these people, there's like proper teams behind them. Yeah. Like at least like this this apparatus, you can see there's like a studio and there's an office and there's content and a website and whatnot. So that's going to take some human beings. Yes. But like Pokemon has six people behind her, I found on LinkedIn. Really? I don't know how many Hassan has, but all these people are multimillionaires. So of course they've hired a bunch of people to make their content. But then you look at their content and it's streaming. Just, Hassan looks like a homeless man. But you just think, well, how many people does that really take? Hey, I, I heard that looks in chic right now, okay? Well, there's, uh, you know, one minute ten. Um, Just look like you're awake. <laughs> of course. I, I don't have a billion years to watch all of the one-hour reactions to a cookie controversy. So I, I checked <laughs> really? Twitter. Apparently his position is he's pro-cookie. It's, it's not a rip-off. Uh, he says it's it's not a rip-off. The discussion is... <laughs> He just miss, <laughs> misses yeah, everything yeah, ever. <laughs> he misses the conversation entirely. But yeah. his solution, his response to it, is that actually seven dollars for cookies is a good price. Um, he is oh, all, says the socialist. He is also a multimillionaire, so maybe, maybe just, he's also out of touch. I, I love that he's literally making the capitalist argument here. Yeah, like it's a higher quality. So it's, it's a luxury item, prestige item you're buying to buy into, like the cult of the thing, and therefore you're happy to pay more. That's just literally what Milton Friedman would have said. But it's so revealing that he's a millionaire and you know never checks what's in any of the products, doesn't really know, probably yeah. doesn't do any shopping ever. But he probably just sits there streaming 24-7. Because you can see him say here that he thinks $7 is a good price because there's palm oil in them. <laughs> what? That precious material. Palm oil. I mean, <laughs> it, it did have to be shipped from somewhere. No, I don't know. It's nonsense. It's but nonsense. It, sorry, for a leftist to sit here and be like, yeah, palm oil is good as well. He doesn't even know about the palm oil uh, controversy, the fact that it's destroying the rainforest and everything else. Yeah, he didn't care about it. doesn't know anything. Whatever. He comes out as pro-capitalist here. And I just, he amazing. also had to do a 50-minute video, for a 55, reacting to Moist Critical. So there we are. That's, oh you know, half you've done an hour and 10 minutes. Why not another 50? Um, uh, you really <laughs> sold me on Moist Critical doing 10 minutes. That's quite compact. You know, I can watch that if I'm doing the dishes or something. And That's just, fair. You know. I like drama sometimes, don't get me wrong. The Twitch economy really does seem to be Twitch streamers not sat on their stream doing something else, the camera's on an empty chair, and somebody else reacting to the footage of that empty chair, and then leaving so it's an empty chair reacting to an empty chair, but it's... and people who have far too much time and money watching and s spamming money at it. To be honest, though, I'd rather watch that than Hassan's actual reaction to something. Yeah. Would you pay money for that? No. There you go. <laughs> But I, I mean, I'm, I'm, you know, we talked about Hassan sometimes, and some people wonder, like, why are you giving me airtime? I was like, bro, he's way bigger than us. And that's the thing I find fascinating, because he's such not quality. Everything about him is low quality. I mean, the, the criticisms of him on politics are, are rock solid on this, which is that he'll read headline, pretend he's suddenly an expert in Argentina, Ukraine, or Israel, depending on the day of the week, yeah. and then we'll tell you exactly what has happened in this random town of Donbass. Or, I don't know, this random hospital. Do you not remember the Piers Morgan interview? Where he's like, look, I'm just an idiot on the internet, but I do a better job than all of the media. It's like, Hassan, you don't do a better job than yourself on yeah. different days. You're atrocious. You're worse than the MSM. And, and whatever, that's why he had to do two hours on quiz and Moist Critical. Um, and Moist actually did a response to Hassan during a response to Critical, who was doing a response to oh, the yeah. circular Pokemon. economy. Uh, boy, anyway, so... just All of these that. people are monetized, but we're not. Um, but one thing, though, that's... Who do you think won? Who do you think the biggest ego of them all? Because even of those people. Does Belle Delphine win this somehow? I don't think Because she, <laughs> like, she's I, been playing both yeah, sides. Yeah. So she always comes out on top. Because like, all of this, this weird, like, degenerative Who's financing cycle. Hassan? Yeah. It was she, Belle she's Delphine. Just sat, she's just sat in her bath <laughs> selling water for millions, probably. She's like half water, half cookies or something. Yeah, I don't know. She's like, ah, oh, mix them. Now, now I'll get my watered cookies. No, there's, there's, I'm giving an award for the longest reaction to a piece of drama, and the award goes to the biggest e-girl of YouTube, um, Destiny. Congratulations, <laughs> my good friend. <laughs> I don't mean to be too mean, but you did spend one hour and 19 minutes on a cookie drama, and um, well, you get the award for, for biggest girl in the neighborhood, and I look forward to you wearing your bow. That would be quite a good meme, and also, I think, uh, well-deserved. So there we are. But if you would like to um, not buy cookies or anything else, you can, of course, sign up to our merch store, in which you can go and get some merch, or to the website with a 33% discount. You won't get that on the cookie store, that's for sure. And also gives you a discount on the merch. Because uh, Well, if I'm going to talk about chills... <laughs> Might as well do some shilling, shan't I? Because we're terrible, terrible e-girls, that's why. Yeah. Have we got any bows in the office? It's just... Have we got any what? Bows. No. Ca Callum, if, if you come onto the podcast wearing cat ears, I will storm out. 
Well, pay for our, our cat ears by signing up to the website, and uh, we'll be back soon. If you appreciated that segment from the podcast of the Lotus Eaters, you can go to lotuseaters.com to get access to all the premium content that's on the site, such as the Brokenomics series, this episode on what can you ever own. If you'd like to find out what else has been put out, you can follow on Twitter at lotuseaters underscore com on Twitter. Thank you and goodbye.